Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Tokyo. Good afternoon, everybody. This is the one of the food truck areas of the city of Tokyo. This is in front of the Tokyo Sanke building. You can see they have these really nice tables and chairs out here. The, I'm standing where the, where the food trucks used to be. There's a nice design there. I'm sitting where the food trucks used to be and uh, they've moved them to across the park over there. And, the, and in the center of the screen, you can see PVG lining up for what he wants. And I'm gonna take you over there. We're gonna take a look at some of, some of Tokyo's food trucks. I'm kind of excited about this because I come here more than I should. I'm often riding my bicycle through the city. I stop, I see food trucks, I stop again and eat, especially at lunchtime. Now, the, the office ladies called OL in Japan and the salary men called salary men, salary man, they're the people who work in these offices and they are the ones who come and eat here. And they particularly like high quality foods. This here is a Thai ya Thai. So this one is serving Thai food, Thai cuisine. Looks really good. Usually it's, it's all of less than a thousand yen, less than $10. And the quality of the food is spectacular. Just because it's in a truck does not mean it's not a fully functioning kitchen or a pretty darn good kitchen. This one's called Spice Village. It has curry. I was thinking of getting this one. PBG still waiting. One of them, one of them is extremely popular. This truck has a nice design to it. That happened live. <laughs> Sorry, dude. This one here has a uh, really loyal following. There's already six people waiting and PBG is last in line. But it's a um, ethnic taste lunch called ES Tokyo. This one literally is a, a peace van, <laughs> but it looks pretty good. This is an Asian lunch. Um, it's not as popular. I might get them because I feel kind of bad, but it, it does look good. They all look good. Smile Spice has curry. Half of it is sold out because after 1 p.m. the lunch rush is done. But still, people people come, come out here. Now, the last one here, and they always change, by the way. They're never really the same. The last one here looks like a well-known chef, and it's vegan. We see you in the camera, PVG. How you doing? You stay in line. I am a regular here, sir. Yeah. Yes, I am. Thank you. Well, well, welcome. I'm welcoming you. You don't welcome me. It's good to be here too. I, I'm glad to hear the lines moving. You get, you get what you want, and then hand back my five thousand yen. <laughs> I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> okay. Actually, yeah, he has my money. So, um, this is Chef uh, Tetsuo Ohira, and he runs a vegan truck. And that's what I'm going to order. I'm very curious to see what the, what Chef Tetsuo has on order here. Um, it also seems to be halal, which is interesting. And uh, the vegans that are watching probably are curious about this. Because there is a vegan option and just happens to be in a truck. Look at that. Told you. We would do something healthy. And I got to eat healthier. It's true. I, I got to eat a little bit healthier. Um, it is quite windy. I do uh, apologize if you guys are hearing any of the wind noises. I will try to limit that as much as possible. Um, now, let's go take a look at this truck where Peter is getting his lunch. It does look quite good. Have you decided, sir? No, actually. Oh my god. What? Chef Tetsuo Hira. You know him? Yeah. He's the master chef of organic vegetarian cuisine. You didn't know? Uh, no. I read the label. I read the truck. Okay. Yeah, I highly recommend that. He's highly recommended, Peter says. That's what I'm getting, and you're getting this one because you like to wait in lines. It's a testament of the popularity of this, of this ethnic taste lens. Uh, do you know which one you're getting it? The, the uh, nashi, go, nashi goreng looks good. nice. That's an Indonesian food. That looks really good. Nasi, nasi goreng. The Asian meat rice is another option. Asian meat rice in the center. And the gapao rice looks good. Gapao rice, that looks Thai. And you get two appetizers. I guess it's a bargain. Food truck should be a bargain. And it's all for $7, 750 yen. That's cheap, man. 
That's why it's that's why this is gonna be sold out before you get there. Now food trucks, I'm I'm gonna wait for you. I'm I'm fine here. Now food trucks, I'll I'll sit this way so you can see them in the background. <laughs> food trucks are kind of a new thing here. They're, they're a new thing and they're not a new thing. Um, when I thought of J Japanese food trucks, I thought of um, menonpan, which are little bakeries and trucks. And you'll see them in front of Japanese supermarkets out in the countryside. Uh, and they offer freshly baked hot menonpan. Those are some of the first food trucks that I saw in Japan. And then there are the yatai, Y-A-T-A-I. Yatai means um, like food stand. Uh, yatai are famous for ramen. Uh, you'll have some that sell yakitori. There's other ones that will sell all, you know, different kinds of Japanese food. In fact, in fact, while we're waiting for this man, sushi was one of the original yatai foods. It was a food truck food, sushi was. Not a truck, but it was a food stand food. Thank you, David. Thank you very much. We're gonna put that towards our lunch for sure. Uh, sushi was invented during the Edo period here in the city. The, the Edo Mai Sushi is what it's called. That's the sushi that we see where the sushi is on a bed of rice. And that came about because Tokyo people are very impatient. We're very impatient people, Tokyoites. I've been here for over 10 years. I can call myself a Tokyoite, Peter as well. We're very impatient people. Um, and we get distracted very quickly. And in order to make the food quick, quicker, they started to serve it raw like this on a bed of rice and serve it fast. Speed was important and they could um, get through the line very quickly. I'm talking like 150, 160 years ago during the Edo period, even further. And that was the original finger food. It was a, it was a fast food, sushi. Now it's come so far as to be called an art and we have that high-end sushi, but it, it started originally as like this, a food truck. Hey there, Iron Maracan, thank you. So that, that's sort of the history of, of sushi, but food trucks and eating outside in food stands does have a long history here in Japan um, through stands. And if you go to the festivals, the Japanese festivals, you're gonna see a ton of yatai. The festivals are infamous for it. Some people say that that's where the um, <coughs> um, launders money. I'm not sure about that. I don't ask a lot of questions, but I will tell you this, the food is good enough I hope you're getting hungry. I'm really starving. We've been uh, seven minutes into this live stream. Um, at the end of this, uh, we're gonna try to do something on Discord. I don't know if you know what Discord is, but right now, the only in Japan Discord server, it's a way where you can communicate and even talk on the phone to me and to other supporters, to you, everyone who's watching, the 630 people watching. And by the way, hit the like button if you like food truck food, and I will order some more food truck food. Lunch is served. Well, don't eat without me. What did you end up getting? I got the gatao rice okay. with uh, two appetizers. Sweet. Um, spring roll and apple compote. Ah, yeah. looks very healthy. So um, I'm going to shoot you while yeah, you Yeah, shoot me. I'm going to get the food. Um, cash me, sir. You know what? I did a... I made a boner. What? I didn't use that 5,000 yen you gave What? Me. Okay, give it back then. <laughs> uh, seriously? I said totally serious. That was what, what it was for. I know, but I felt, I felt bad. I felt Actually, bad. I might have to borrow a thousand yen because it's, uh, they only take thousand yen notes. I gave him five, and now he's going to give me one. Now, I, do you have a thousand? Uh, you only carry hundreds? Look at that. Two. two oh, you put three, the ones on the inside? Four. I'm good for it. <laughs> no, no. I do not have a one. You do not have a one? No, what? Give, he'll give you change. I don't know about that. Can you hold the camera? Yes, I can. All right, and you can narrate while I do it. Hey, Gustavo, sure. thank you. So let's, uh, let me, I'm just gonna Remco, set this down. Remco, thank you very much. I'm gonna set this down, right? Here. Gamer Pro's always, always here. I like to see Gamer Pro and introverted otaku. Hey, John, nice talking earlier on Discord. If you're a Patreon supporter, you can get onto Discord now. Yeah. Oh, nice. So I guess that's why I can't get on because I'm not a supporter. You are. Guys, Johnny's gonna place his order. Isn't this cool? You can do it from distance. Oh, okay, okay. Isn't that cool? So, I've never seen a ticket machine in a lunch truck. That is so cool. It's cute. Very cool.
So what's it going to be? Is he going for the Kokomo or the other oh, no. Kokomo? Avocado. We've got an avocado curry. This one's a soft boiled egg curry. Oh, it's sold out. It's got an X on it. They're all sold out. Wait, wait, wait. Oh no, the price is. <laughs> It's just the price, price down. All right, that's good. Pretty cool. So how you guys doing? It's been a while. This food truck thing is kind of catching on here in Tokyo. It's not quite as big as where I'm from. Portland, Oregon has an enormous food truck culture. So if any of you have, have been there or plan to go there to Portland, Oregon, Make sure you try their food truck food. It's fantastic. So, Chef Tetsuo Ohira. He is the master chef of organic vegetarian cuisine. And I don't know, is that him inside there? It's kind of hard to tell. But aside from the wind, it is a perfect day to be eating food in a lunch truck because it is a beautiful spring day here in Tokyo. And we are in Otemachi. We're surrounded by skyscrapers. So Otemachi is not really known for its impressive skyscrapers. They're all around us, but they're kind of banal. They're, they're a bit... <laughs> yes, sir. What's okay? Oh, filming? Okay, okay. So this is uh, Kokomo and Kitchen Kokomo. Yeah. And actually he has a shop in Higashi Koenja on the Maranouchi line. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so neat. It's pretty cool. Every Friday he's here at uh, in front of the Tokyo Sanke building. Okay. Yeah. Oh, nice. Good to know. We can get a close-up of the ticket machine too. Isn't that cool? That is so cool. I've never seen one this small. It keeps, keeps it moving fast, I think. So, my food's getting cold, so I'm ready to sit down and enjoy. Let's have a look Look at what I got here. Oh, oh that looks good. I told him to give me extra pakchi, and he did. Mmm, yum. There's my apple compote and spring roll, and the kapow. Kapow. Looking forward to getting into that. And John's looking forward to getting into that. Check this out. Oh, nice. It's got avocado, it's got egg, it's got um, a vegetarian uh, curry mm -hmm. and it was less than ten dollars. Wow! Um, Eight hundred and ninety yen. Nice. Yeah. So shall we go sit down and eat? Yes, let's. Um, we can go to the other side. There's tables there. Okay. You want to take the stick? Yeah, I'll take the stick. Got it? Yeah. Right. All right. Um, I got you guys. Don't worry. I'm holding. I'm holding. Oh, okay. We got some some lunch money. See here, Abe, Abe Khalid, any ideas for things to do in September? We'll get to that, Chris Hansen, Pig Year, uh, Queen Tacos is here, ah! Something for a vegetarian, John, I'm turning vegan. And Gustavo, eat something for us. Greetings from Mexico, by the way, do you think the weather is good in the first half of June? Um, first half, yes, it becomes a rainy season in the second half, right? Yeah, our 
right, let's yeah. carry this combination at the table. I'm hungry. All right, are you gonna get? You're gonna get mine too. Do not switch them. I love. I love what I ordered. I think. Oh, I, I think I'll be able to tell which is mine. Yeah. Yes, that's the window. Yeah. There's my sweet ride right there. I'm gonna keep an eye on her because I don't want somebody to snatch her. Why? It is very stealable. If I if I was a bike thief, I'd prefer Most that. Old ladies bike. don't steal stuff. Old I ladies. Like there are. I do see any old ladies. Everyone is in their like vibrant thirties. Mm. I guess. That's why we came here. Yeah. It is pretty cool to come here. This is the way that the salary people eat, the office ladies and the salary men. They'll eat this kind of healthy food now. It's better than the convenience store bentos, wouldn't you say? Oh, yeah. It's a lot better than the convenience well, store we bentos. We haven't eaten this yet, so by looks alone, yes, uh, let's, let's try right here. Uh, let's go over here to the outside. PBG has found a table. All right. The, the reason why I want to, we're going to pan down and show you what we have here. What was the name of your place? Do you even know the restaurant's name? Yeah. What was it called? EG I, you don't, Spice Kitchen. EG Spice Kitchen? Do they, does he have a restaurant? Did you interview your chef? I was too busy getting the, the order in. I didn't have a cameraman filming me. Oh, that's, that's true. I was filming from a distance. Oh my, that looks awesome. Dude, yeah. I should have switched. All right, show it to us. Show it to the 700. Ah, makarimashita. Hi. Okay, let's go and film. Let's go eat over here. Oh, because you have the camera? Yeah. Stop. We're not allowed to film here. It's okay. We'll film over here. I'm not ending this live stream. She's gonna have to. Uh, she's gonna have to do better. Yeah, that's what I think. We're down to like 39 people now. All right, we're back. This is PBG. What do you got here? Are you gonna introduce it to us? Okay. So I've got tires in the house. Missed the food vlog. No, you haven't. We're still we're still at it. And Tyler, never surrender. You got that right. All right, what is this again that we're looking okay. at? So for the eighth time, this is the Gapau. 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 So the, the food truck I went to is various Asian tastes. They had Gapau from wow. Indonesia. They Look had at that. Uh, some. Uh, I'm sorry, the Gapau is from, from Thailand. Yeah. They had a uh, nasi goreng from Indonesia, and various other things. It looks really good. I and see the cilantro a or a compote. Um, cilantro. What do you, do you, do you? There's another name for it in Thai. It's um. Pakuchi. Pakuchi, right? Yeah. And this looks like uh, apples. Apple compote. Apple compote. Interesting. So that must be the desserts. It could very well be, depending on if you eat that first or second. What, what are you gonna go for first? Well, I was raised to always eat dessert first. No. No. But my mom's not watching. I know that, so we can probably have the dessert first. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, let's take a look at yours. Let's do some uh, window shots. No, what, no, you can't inter introduce it. Now go for the bite. I'll oh, okay. Right. Don't don't do that to the people watching. Hi, hi. <laughs> Here we go. All right, do it. PPG is going in. All right, we're gonna go for the compote. Oh, so you're going apple first? Well, we'll see. Mmm, nice. Oh, nice. Really nice spice to it. Cinnamon, ah, and uh, tangy organic apple. How do you know it's organic by taste? Can you tell? Yeah. Just because they wrote organic, can your taste buds differentiate? Determine, determine if it's organic. Yeah, I, well, I can't. I trust them. I do trust. I trust them. They have a lot. In in Japan, reputation is everything. If they ever caught you, then you would be you'd be game over. Yeah. Yeah. It's really nice. Right, let's go for the. Uh, What's going next here? Do it. Race. Do it. Do not be shy. Dig in. Deep. Go Deeply. Deep. Nice. Good. Go That's sport, a good sp sporkful. Go sport deep. Sporkful. Mm. You have to take off your glasses. We can't see the eyes. You're not going to do it? Mm. Oh, <laughs> that means it's way. good. <laughs> That's really nice. Want to try a bite? Uh, sh sure. Wait, let me get my... Utensils? I have a spork here. This is the um, national utensil of Japan. 
used to be the chopsticks, but the spork has now come back into style. You're only giving it to me because you want you're a bite of mine. I did make that up. I'm usually fact-based, but today it's lunch-based. Okay, oh, I just totally... Clumsy off. Oh my gosh. Oh, sorry. I'm making a mess of your... your best. It's pretty windy. It is. Oh, I this lost really it again. This is really nice. It's got a... I eat a lot of Thai food. Oh, look, I'm pick, I lost something and I picked something up. And this has a really authentic Thai flavor to it. It's very nice. It does, it's, it does smell authentic. It does, it's, it does smell authentic. Mm. How does it taste? Hold I was on. telling these, these nice people about the food trucks in Portland, Oregon. Oh, Portland. Is that food truck central? Oh, man. They're everywhere. Wherever there's an empty parking lot, the food trucks are set up. And it's top-notch food. I grew up in Portland. And in the, the time that I've been in Japan, 20 years I've been here, Portland has done a, a complete turnaround. It's the food is fantastic, and it's everything's top notch there. It's really good. It's it's like a really really tiny Tokyo in in the 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 food world food realm world, food realm industry. Everything's really good. You, it's hard to get a bad meal in Portland. In Portland. Really, I, I've out, never yeah. been to Portland. You never true. invited me. You always say I'm going to Portland, but you never invite me to go along. Well, John, we're not really open to people from joy -Z in Portland. Portland's a unique place. I'm from Ohio. Yeah, we're kind of snobby. I'm from Ohio. I thought you are from joy -Z. I'm, uh, I'm from all over. I have no no destination in particular. All right. Well, Peter eats his, his uh, Thai food mixture. I'm going to go, hey, Derek Jumper's in the house. Thank you. I'm going to go in for mine, which is made by Co the uh, Kitchen Kokomo. Kokomo. I'll let you show it. Yeah. Kitchen Kokomo. He has a restaurant in. Um, Isn't that a? It's a Beach Boys tune. It could very well Way be. He does have a restaurant in Higashi Koenji, which is not too, which is on the Marunouchi line. All right. All right, let's try this. Do it. Oh, Do it. It, does, it looks really good. And he, this is this is vegan, 100% vegan. Huh. At first, I thought I thought it was. Um, I thought this was meat in here but it's How not you know it's real vegan do your taste buds know the difference john? my taste buds know the difference because i was eating vegan food with uh tokyo vegan uh lady how do you know she wasn't lying to you because she's very serious about her vegan food huh. all right there we go there we go brothers and sisters this is a vegan lunch don't touch it i'm just saying peace brothers and sisters peace wait if it is a hard half boiled egg vegan. You have to ask the chicken that laid it. I'm kind of confused. Maybe this particular one is not vegan. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no, egg, chef. Eggs are not vegan, dude. Chef, the chef, chef tricked me. Now the egg is vegetarian, I guess, because the chickens themselves eat. Chicken is not an actual animal. It's a, just an embryo. Now we're getting into a totally different <laughs> battle here. Anyways, this is what I got. It's um, it looks really good. yeah. It's a curry with a egg and and um, this is amazing that he, he made this all fresh in not, not in from scratch truck. but he prepared it all in the truck. Wow! All right. So the guy who is working in the truck is he actually the chef that's on the the, uh, the truck? Oh, wow! Check it out. You're not gonna answer. My yeah, question. he's the chef. He's the actual And guy. he only comes to the food area on Fridays. Oh. And every day there's a new food truck, meaning the diversity of food available here. Check that out. Wow. Oh, oh I'm making a mess here. Oh, no, that's why I bought that. Anywhere. No, that's why I bought nice. the napkin here. Wow. The diversity of food in the food truck is amazing. This is, has the egg in it with the rice and the mixture, a little bit of that avocado in there. Mm. I did drop it. I, I will clean that up. Yes, you will. I will. My reputation is built on cleanliness. Uh -huh. yeah. I, I, we clean. That's Johnny Cobb. I, I try. I try. Let's give this thing a taste. How was it? Very good. Now with the try curry. Try the curry. Yeah, yeah. The curry. That slop. It's good. It's curry. It's supposed to look like slop. How is it? It's May good. I? Yeah. Just a little bit. Cheers. Thank you. All right, I'm going in. Mm. Oh. 
Oh, man. Mm. Mm. It's really nice, isn't it? Mm. Not too tomato-y, but it's got a really nice tomato base. Almost like a, almost like a, a pasta sauce. Mm. Right? Yeah, that's what, that's a good way to put it. But it's got a good balance to it. It's yeah. the spiciness is what, right. what makes it good. Tomato-based curry. I love a good tomato-based curry. And I love being here. This is the, the, um, um, we say Otemachi Station is where this is right on top of Otemachi Station, and this is the kind of the central business district, the new one. It used to be on the side where Nihonbashi is, where Japan's central bank is, yeah. but it's all moved now to this side, closer to the Imperial Palace in the Otemachi area, which is the modern Uchi side of Tokyo Station as well. You can walk here. Um, I, I ride my bicycle through here to get to Akihabara, to get um, to the Ueno, to get up north. Yeah. So it's a place that I, I I often ride my bicycle through and. I've noticed over the last year an increase in food trucks. Over the, over the last year. Yeah. I'm not making funny. He's a narrator. That's why <laughs> he's a perfectionist in his craft. And he thinks his natural tone. Okay, just because I hear you on the ANA flights, Mr. You know, voice snob, doesn't mean that you're better than... It probably... Actually, it does mean that you're better than me, <laughs> in a way. At a party the other day, I was introduced as the king of narration. Who would dare do that? Some Was it your drunk, mother at the party too? Drunk, a drunk wife of a friend of mine. <laughs> but yeah, I, I, know, I know what you're saying. Mm. But you know what? What? I'm really pleased that you invited me here today because this is top-notch truck food. I know. Right? Truck food. And, and it's not just Japanese food. They do have it. I, it, it. Again, these trucks rotate. You can see them where the guy is pointing his... Uh, you can see him where the guy... Why is it... Come on, gimbal. Uh, behind that taxi is the food trucks. How dare you block the shot. You blocking the shot. But the food trucks are over that taxi. Hey, Derek Jumper's in the house. Uh... Forgot message on last uh, super chat. Too nervous to give you this in person, but super chat works. Thank you, Derek. I really appreciate it, Tyler. If you were to rate the two dishes out of ten, that's tough. Tyler asks to rate the dishes. Peter's better with stars because he is a star himself. I happen to be five stars to his one star, just for clarity. I, well, I. You have five stars. I'm one star. I have five pockets. I put a star in each pocket. That's why I'm wearing the vest. You see, I got a pocket here. Leftover from your kindergarten class. These, hey, blue vests are what the police officers wear here. I thought it was nice to, if I ever got a ticket. Konnichiwa. Oh, really? <laughs> nice to meet you. Do you work here? Yeah, I just fucking there, so. Oh, awesome. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Thank you, you. Do you have a recommended place that you eat around here? Uh, around here? Yeah. Uh, Craft beer? Yeah. Oh, really? Whoa! Okay. okay. In this building right here? Like in the B1 or something? Oh, outside. Okay. Oh, wow. Do you want to say hi to people? We're doing a live. Hello. What's your name? <laughs> she good? Hi, I'm Peter. Good to meet you. Yeah, it's John. <laughs> Thanks for coming to say hello. Arigato. <laughs> that was nice. He was watching, I guess he was watching the stream, but he saw, he, he watches the show. I thought he was like going to tell us to turn off the, the camera when he came over. No, he came with a smile. He was smiling. He works in the building near here, but I, I like the craft beer recommendation. Yeah. That's something that I can get on board with. Um, yeah. Oh, so the guy was asking us to rate the food. So, oh, yeah. Sorry, we're getting back to the rating of the food. Peter, do it. Well, as many of you who have been to Japan, you already know the deal. Oh, let me get the mic on you. Okay. Many of you have come to Japan already, so you know that it's hard to find a really bad meal. So, stating that initially, and going to this lunch truck... Just get to it. No, it's really good. No, um, 
Yeah, I'm on a on a scale. I don't like to rate things on a scale, but I would say that it is worth your worth your time if you're in the area to to try one of these lunch trucks. It's by all means try one of these very lunch good. trucks. Yeah, well, well, yeah well, try it. You don't like it when I make fun of you, do you, PVG? Huh? It's, it's it hurts, doesn't it? Doesn't yeah. it? You're really you're really a mean guy, John. That's how you talk. I don't know. Brace for impact. Oh, fasten your seatbelts. I'm an A and A. Hey, everybody. I'm a Kabuki narrator for seatbelt safety on flights. <laughs> and, and thanks for flying A and A. Just but take comfort you. in knowing that <laughs> I'm there on board with you in the event of something turbulence or just being comfortable when you, you, you get on the flight. When you get on the flight, you'll uh, you'll feel real comfortable. Fasten your seatbelts. Oh, brace man. for impact. I, I like it when you say brace for impact. It, it, do I actually say that? You do. You do. For the, the position to pose. It, when you brace for impact or something like this, I just start smiling and I stop listening. And I think of you bracing for impact. Um, I don't brace for impact because I'm too busy narrating it. That's true. The narrator does not brace for impact. These are all, I, I do it did all you study, these. before you did that, did you study for, for the lines to, and practice? You don't have to say honestly, because you should say yes. Well, I always, I always look at the script before I do a job. Okay. Yeah. Sorry, we got a, a lot of wind on, on, on here going on. I, if I'm gonna have to rate these two, and I appreciate it, it took 30 minutes to get into the rating of the food. I'm gonna have to say that I like Peter's a little bit better, but really? a rate? little. No, 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 no. Very little bit better. I mean, it's like if, if I had to give it stars. In terms of lunch truck, am I comparing it with the lunch trucks? Uh, Tyler, I would say, is for lunch truck truck cuisine, these are both five star. And I would, and I would give this this uh, lunch truck I had in um, Paris, France. This uh, why do you say Paris, France? As though it was like Paris, Texas. I don't know. In Paris, there was a duck truck, and my friend said, in his, in friend, my friend Eric would always go, John, we've got to go to the duck truck. And the way he said it was really. Can you do it in a French accent? I don't know. He said duck truck. Z duck truck. Z duck truck, yeah. That's it, he said Z duck truck, that's right. So we went to Z duck truck and uh, it was really, really good. And I could see why the duck truck cost like 10 euro, which is double what this is. Yeah, it was worth it. It was a good duck truck. It's, it was usually around um, the area behind the Louvre on that side. You had to find it was a park. I don't remember, it was dark. It was a good duck truck. I'm, I'm now thinking of that craft beer place the guy was yeah. talking about. Is it open now? <laughs> I don't know. But one thing I noticed about the the uh, common theme of these lunch trucks here yeah. is they all have some sort of spice in the name. So there's like, there is a, yours is the Kokomo. A Kokomo, local, local yeah. moco, whatever, spicy stuff. Yeah. Mine's the Asian spice, the Southeast Asian. And a couple of the other ones also were spice themed Spice restaurants. themed restaurants. Uh, spice is nice. Yeah. So is rice. That's so funny. I like, they, they, you know, they rhyme. It's true. It's true, they rhyme. I, I, I think that all the food trucks here are five stars or like four and a half. The thing is, if you, if you stink, if you, if you, if you're not good at making food at, in this com what kind of put on. Tyler, why do you have to do that? <laughs> Tyler just gave fifty dollars super chat for craft beer. Wow. We're gonna have to do that. We're gonna have to do that. I'm, I'm gonna go. We're gonna go there and see if I can get permission for another day. Actually, the reason why I wanted Peter to come here is part for this, half for this, and half for another live stream that we want to do. Don't tell him about it. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. It's a. It's a good one. I've been saving this for like a year. I know you've been, you've been promising me, let's go do it, let's go do it. And then well, you, you only have down. time now. You didn't have time later. I can only work with what year, you, you give me. my hopes up, and it kept dashing me. Uh, well, we'll get we'll get onto it. Um, we'll do it sometime soon, but this is a good one. Uh, but this crap beer, Tyler, and we're going we're gonna to try to do this. We're going to try to do this. I don't know. I'll, so I'm going to go and... Show these green guys over here. These are my nemesis. The green guys? The sidewalk. Zoom in on the sidewalk. Oh. Two, two green guys. Those are the ticket givers. Yeah. You see them? They have given me a lot of tickets. How, ma how much money in tickets? Maybe Tyler can take care of that for you. Nine. <laughs> no, 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 no. 
9,000 yen a pop. 90 bucks. For, for one? For, yeah, for parking your scooter. Like, for example, that scooter on the street right That's there. That's like $85. Yeah. For one parking ticket. One Do you pay them? Ticket. Yeah. What, I, I always see in the movies people just put it in their glove compartments and they have a lot of them and they well, never actually, enforce I keep them, them in the back after I pay them. Ooh, sorry. I keep them like a dummy one and then put it on my bars and my bike when I park somewhere where I maybe shouldn't be. Yeah. When they see it, oh, he's already got a ticket and they just keep on going by. Oh, so you use a fake ticket? I, that's, that's really smart. That's just between you and me. I used. So, okay, go ahead. <laughs> what I'm say is not only do you get a ticket for 9,000 yen. Yeah. But they also, and I think this changed recently, but they also were taking points off of your, your driver's license. For parking tickets? Yeah. That's crazy. It was totally stupid. And there's just not enough parking spaces for bikes, motorcycles, and scooters in Tokyo. There should be different departments. Driving and parking, that's not a moving violation. What? So if you have points taken off your license, you then, when you renew your license, you have to sit through this ridiculous safety video like, you know, drink driving. Yeah, because safety is always ridiculous. Well, and, and, say, and drunk driving is totally connected with parking. Safety the first. The wrong place. So, do you have a gold license? I would if I didn't have all these parking tickets. You know what? People who drive every day, very few of them have gold licenses. And people who drive, drive every day are, have moving violations. It's just it's impossible. You might be just a little bit too late for a red light and they'll get you. The people who have gold license are the ones who never drive, never and they drive. get, they're the um, paper, pa drivers. paper drivers, we call them in Japanese, paper yeah. driver. Yep. They're the ones they never get, and they always go, oh, I've got a gold license, and we go, yeah, well, you know what? Can you drive through Tokyo traffic? No. Let's see how long you keep that gold license, Mr. Right. Gold License, or Mrs. Gold License, or Miss Gold License, yeah. or Ms. Gold License. It just depends on if you're married. Or if you're a man or a woman. That's, I meant that. So, um, but the other thing is, what is the other thing? What was I going to say about that? <laughs> I, know, I, I, about knew it, I knew I'd screw you up with, with that one. Uh, I totally... License. What was I going to say? I made you forget with my... <laughs> I threw that wrench in there. Uh, Grass doesn't grow in a busy street, huh? What was I going to say about the gold license? Um, so if you, if you have a... If you drive a lot, you, get, you usually have a blues, a blue line, which means that you're just a driver. But yeah. a gold license oh, means you get. I, know I was gonna say. So, I got I got my motorcycle license through a driving school. The, the second license I got. The first one was was like up to 400 cc. And then if you want the really big bike, you have to get a different license. So the second time I went through a class, a school, and it's about it's about 1,500 bucks. Yeah. But I started thinking about how much money these driving schools are making because most Japanese have a driving license. But very few of them drive. It's true. They use it as their ID. So it's almost like as soon as they graduate from, from university, it's part of their coming of age. They go get a driver's license. And it's like, it's for the motorcycle, it was 1500 bucks. For a car, I think it's more it's than 3, that. It's about $3,000. Yeah. Can I, can I want to get a driver's license? I'm like, $3, sure. $3,000 Sure, the car? I'll, I'll, no, no, not even for the license. And, 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 I mean, and the car license. Yeah, and yeah. Kanai says, oh, I want the driver's license. And I said, sure, fine. Um, how much is it? And then she told me, I'm like, my jaw dropped because we get this in high school. We get, in high school, we have uh, six hours behind the wheel. My PE teacher taught me how to drive a little bit. And then I get a permit and my dad teaches me how to drive. My dad teaches me how to ruin the manual transmission. That's basically what it was. Uh, I think I destroyed one of the, the 1986 Honda car by learning how to, to Your, shift. Your PE teacher taught you to drive? Pop up headlights, very nice car. Yeah, we, well... How does that work? You, you get, in high school time, you get six hours behind the wheel. So after school, the, they would drive up to the entrance and you'd get in. And then he, being a trained professional, would help guide you in practical driving. Whereas Japanese is more like the schools teach you the book side of it. And this is the culture in a, in a, in a styrofoam container. Um, I, would, I was going to say inside of a nut, nutshell. But um, Japan is very book smart and America is very... Yo, experience, yeah, street, smart. street smart, I guess. And we learn by doing. And in right. Japan, you learn by studying here. And of course, doing comes after you become a master in the studying. So they do it right. So after they do become a master, they've, they're have they probably better at it. And they can go to a higher level, maybe. I don't know. Just kind of like rambling. Though. This is real level, life. Like driving a dump truck or something? Well, driving a food truck, 
You can't um, drive a food truck if you don't have a license, paper drivers. Right. And I think some of the food trucks are starting to leave now. Yeah, there's one of them taking off. We're in this in the central business district. I just saw the red food truck, the spice truck, is starting to uh, depart. So they've pretty much ended the lunch rush. So I'd say if you're going to eat the lunch truck, come here between 11 and 12 a.m. Yeah, let's go back to the lunch truck. Have you seen any lunch trucks? Uh, 11 to 12 a.m. 11 a.m. to 12 noon. And then again from 1 to 2, usually there's less people. But between 12 and 1, right. it's really, there's a lot of lines and a lot of business people. Yeah. Have you seen any lunch trucks that are noteworthy, PVG? What do you mean? Like in your 20-some years in Japan, did you experience a lunch truck that you really yeah. was memorable? What? Yeah. Besides now? Well, over in uh, Jimbocho. Oh, okay. There's a, there's a studio that I work at occasionally. And right there, it's called, uh, what's it called? I forget the name of the square. Some, Nantuka Square. Something square. There's, a, there's several food trucks all throughout the week. In Jimbocho. Very, very near Jimbocho and Takebashi is the... Oh, the okay. It's toward, from Jimbocho Station towards the uh, Imperial Palace. That's right. Yeah. I know what you're talking about. Oh, that's, that's actually not too far from here. It's called like People Square or something like that. This is very if, good trucks. This there. is how I ride to Jimbocho. I go straight through here, and I get there. That's where I buy my running shoes because uh, the Ogawa Machi area, Jimbocho is also famous for uh, one piece manga. Shueisha makes um, Shonen Jump yeah. there at Jimbocho. They make sneakers as well. And it's also famous for sneakers and camping goods. Oh, and it's Jimbocho. Just, and books and books. I don't think I've ever seen you in sneakers. You have pretty big feet, don't you? I have 28 and a half centimeters. But they're wide. Look at those things. They're like snowshoes. I try to be comfortable. What are you wearing? Jump tails. With the laces. How do you run in those? You're going to trip yourself. But they're easy to take off. In Japan, you want to have shoes you can get off easily. Well, you can get them off, but you, but they don't stay on. Yeah, they do. Yeah, kick your feet good. around. Show us. Kick your feet. Do it more. That's not, that doesn't count. Kick like you're going to kick a soccer ball. Football. Not, not in my head. This is the people. Don't hit the people with your foot. Yeah, see, they come off quite easily. You get Velcroed on there? No, 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 no. Interesting. Never seen that before. So there's some sort of spandex to keep them uh, attached. Well, you Interesting. Know how it is here in Japan. You go to certain jobs and or places or whatever, and you got to take your shoes off. And if you have a bunch of laces or difficult to, to remove shoes or put them back on, it's kind of mendoksai. Mendoksai means can't. Can't, can't be helped. Be bothered, yeah. Can't be bothered. I so. like laces because I respect the shoes and I spend time to lace them up properly each time. Yeah. I've never tripped, huh. purposefully on 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 purpose. Yeah. Due to my own fault. So you're gonna finish that lunch? You're just gonna? I'm gonna sign off and we'll eat it in peace. I I do have to say, Tyler, thank you and. Um, I would say that Peter's was just slightly better, very, very slightly, which is why a lot of people were lining up to it. But the chef was really friendly. He let us film there. I'd put them on even par. And um, if I was, if I was, let's say Tiger Woods versus uh, Phil Mickelson. Jack Nicholson. Yeah, Peter's was a Tiger. Mine was a Phil, and both of them are pretty darn good. No, it's like no. If, if yours, was, if mine was Jack Nicholas and yours was Tiger Woods, mine was Jack and yours is Tiger. Because because Jack Nicholas, <laughs> hey Jack Nicholas went to my university. He was a Buckeye. Jack Nicholas uh, was an Ohio State Buckeye. He designed the, the Scarlet and Gray golf course on campus too. Nice to play on that. It's very nice. Very very nice. Queen of Echoes, thank you as well. Yeah. Anything yeah, you want to say? Last comments. All right. So Queen of Tacos has bought the uh, beverages. So I owe you a drink. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Queen of Tacos. We'll, we'll get something new. We'll top up. Appreciate it. Uh, Peter's channel, by the way, congratulations on 10,000 subscribers. You're now at 11. Almost so you're moving. 12. I know, you're moving oh, yeah. faster. You started to edit the videos. Uh, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> there's homie, nothing wrong homie, with that. Homie, homie, homie. But if you're interested. I have been editing these things for almost a year and a half. But because you're getting I've better. changed my. Okay. Because I changed my direction, yes. my focus. Which is? Motorcycles and motorcycle culture in Japan. Yeah, that's a and good topic. A huge, huge 
niche. And if you're interested in bikes, even if you're not interested in bikes, I think you'll appreciate what I have on my channel. So please check it out. And yeah. if you like it, subscribe and we'll be best friends. Link in the description, as well as if you're interested in Discord and you want to join us in the Discord server right now, we're beta testing it with our Patreon uh, group. I put a link in the description for Patreon. Uh, I do really appreciate the support over there. Uh, we do have a postcard club where I send postcards every month to everybody. Uh, we have about 200, 200 postcards club supporters, which is amazing. Wow. So thank That's you very great. much for, for that. And right now um, we're beta testing it with, with uh, Patreon supporters and we're gonna roll it out to everybody. Do you have Discord on your app, Peter? Hmm. Is it, can you go on? Maybe we can talk to some of our Discord. We can try anyways. UFO Bob is one of the moderators uh, in the Discord server. Sorry about the wind, everybody. Uh, Ramsey's silent as well. If you're interested and you're a uh, supporter of, of this Go channel, we might, we could maybe use your help moderating in the Discord server for sure. Is it activated, your Discord server? Right now. Yeah! You're interrupting my lunch. Well, we're just signing off. I just want to see if, if anyone is there. So we're gonna take this. I guess we could take this the Discord server. There's a chat feature, which is a voice a voice activated chat. And uh, I believe Nosh, our friend Nosh abroad, has done something with it. I don't really know. I, I believe so. But we're using PBG's phone, and PBG is a moder. Are you a Discord moderator? No. No, you you would abuse the power, wouldn't you? Yeah. Yeah, see, that's why, Nosh, I told you, don't make him a moderator, he would abuse the power. He admits it. You Would you abuse it? Hell yes. Hell yes. Yeah, and you're not supposed to say the hell word on YouTube. Really? They consider that to be a bad what word. What kind of is that? I don't know. I have been loving you 360 motors. Tyler says he's been loving your 360 motorcycle vlogs. Cool, thank you. Nice, nice. Um, There's a new one. I'm, I'm uh, finishing up another one. It's going to drop hopefully this weekend, and it's an awesome one. What's it called? I'm not going to tell you. Oh, come on. I'm not going to tell you what it's called, but it's about it's about a race. Some races that go on in the Tokyo area. All right. Are you racing, or do you film the racing? I'm filming. Are there... All right. So, you, okay. it's on. It's John's Discord. I'm checking it right now. John's Discord. Who's there? Hello. Can you go to chat? Uh, hold on. You don't know how to do it, do you? No. Uh, general, general chat. chat. Oh, there's no general. There's no voice chat for Questions general. On Japan. Maybe you're not John authorized. Live waiting. John live waiting. That's a that's a voice channel. Oh, there's the John live chat. Um, you're locked out of it. Look at that. You're locked out of a lot of this stuff. Is that because I? Because you're I abusive. Step my lines. Could be very well. Could be. Yeah, and you have your own own uh, Discord. Oh, we got our samurai voice chat, which is our our. Uh, oh, you're locked out of that too, because you're well, not, I'm a not a patron. I'm not a patron. It's true. That's probably why. Um, I don't know, man. Right, we can't do the voice chat, but I'm gonna uh, maybe I'll go in after this, and we'll do we'll go into our samurai voice chat for a little bit. Oh, there's a general voice chat. You're you're okay for that? Connect to voice. Oh, this could work. Hello. Turn on the Can speaker, dude. Me? Turn on the speaker. Uh, which, which one's speaker? Like this thing? I don't know. Nope. Not That's that. mute. Is it... What's Bluetooth mean? Is Bluetooth oh, speakers yeah, are connected. Yeah, yeah. Get rid of that. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? This is cool. Do you touch this, John? The, the, the speaker? That means hang up. Okay, so what's that thing? The, the headphones. Touch that. Hello? Oh. Why, is it on manner mode? No, it is not. It is not. And the volume's turned up. It's Weird. Fast. Hello. Oh, Peter, you are. Peter should be. Should be talking. Uh, what's this over two, here? Two grown men. Server deafened. Don't. Server mute. Serve, don't mute anything. Right. Nothing? You can't figure it out? Okay. Hello? Oh, wait, I can hear them. We're on speaker. Can you just speak? Turn on the speaker. How do you do the speaker? How do you do the speaker, Nosh? Nosh is our, Nosh knows everything with pit, this, uh, I don't know. Voice, Voice settings? settings. Speaker. Uh, 
So I'm just going to crank yeah, up the volume. You. We're hearing you, but it's not coming through the speaker. Uh, now? Hello? No? Hello? No. Hello? No. Somebody there. Yeah, hey. Hey, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you talking to? I think that's Nosh. Um, Nosh will tell you. Nosh knows. So, so how, do we, how do we put this on speaker? I don't know what we're doing. Yeah, because it's... All I can do is speak through the, uh, the headset. I can't, uh, I can't hear the speaker. He's not sure. He's checking into it. Alright. Nosh is checking into it. I've done it before, and I'll do it again. It's just I don't know how, how I did it. Nosh... Hey! Look, the truck's making its way out of here. Smile spice. We... we we did this longer than Smile Spice. We were out here longer than that. Thank you. Hello? We didn't need from your truck, but we'll keep yes, you in no, mind next time. Got it worked out how we can See you next time. The speaker. Oh, really? Maybe because I had it connected to my, my headphones, my Bluetooth headphones, and maybe that somehow interfered. Complicated man, this yeah, man. Yeah, so now is. I can't get out to. Uh, you have to hang it up. You have to hang up your Bluetooth. Okay, I'll try that. All right, thanks. You're a complicated man, PBG. Nothing simple with you. So I'm gonna kill the app. It's good. If this thing blows up, it's all Nosh is bad. Nosh is a solution. Yeah. So. All right, we're, we're, what we're trying to do is is talk to the people. You, who right, are so on Discord, <coughs> support Patreon. Logging back in. Because. <laughs> uh, <laughs> All right, he's logging in there. Only in Japan. Only in Japan. Okay, wait, hold on. He's doing it. Now, how do you get to the voice chat? The voice chat uses the speaker like. Oh, Bye, David. So how do you go? General ahead? chat, okay. and then there is a. Hold on, there is a general chat. Uh, general voice chat, you okay. see. Why is it grayed out? Because you're not, you're not connected. All right. All right. Now is it working? Hello, can you hear us? Yes, we can. Yay, it's working. It's it working. turned on full blast. It's on full blast. All right, say something, people out there. Say something. Hey, they said something! In the morning here. What time is it? 1.20 a.m. in New York. New York. Nice. 120. What time? 20. We're live here with New York on the New York on the line. So how do you feel about Zion going towards to the Pelicans, huh? Sports talk, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. All right, we don't have time nobody, for that. Nobody, nobody knows what I'm talking about. So is it true that New York never sleeps? <laughs> Does New York never sleep? Hey, that's a, uh, the answer is no. We're zombies. <laughs> oh, it's Dimitri. How you doing, John? Good. That's what Remember, you look like. You're trapped inside. So I can't wait to see you. Yeah, you're trapped inside of a phone. That's what you look like in Tokyo right now. Awesome. <laughs> so what's amazing to me is no, that. No, I, wish, I, wish we had, I wish we had some smell o vision going on because those food trucks look amazing. Very good. You have to use your imagination. I know. I can only wish I can only wish I can uh, travel 7,000 uh, about maybe what 12,000 miles in two seconds. So it's all cool. <laughs> Teleportation is just around the corner. That's right. Who, who else is it? Dimitri, who else is in the group there? There's a lot of people. Loads of people. There's probably like 10 people right now. All right, 10 people, say hello. You can count that many on your hands. Man. Hey, John. Hey, Peter. Hello. Hey, guys. Hello. Everyone say hello at the same time. Let's break the system. Hello. Nosh, does that work? Hello. Hey, John. Hello. <laughs> break the system. Nosh, hello. Hello. And, uh, yeah. And by the way, hi, by, by the way, hi, Peter. I forgot to say hi to you. I'm sorry. Yes, hello. No yeah, problem. He's, no problem. He, he's offended very easily. I'm not easily. easily offended. No, you're John, totally... John and he holds grudges. Buttons. Do you hold grudges? I do. I do. You do? I do. Like three years later, you remember that time that that D-bag did this and this? <laughs> yeah, laugh at that now. Yeah. It's true. Caller, please yeah. use headphones or, or please talk. Yeah. All right. So this, right, everybody, that's, di that's Discord. Just hang up on them. Just hang up on them. No, 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 no. With pleasure. We'll talk to you later on there. 
but I, I, we're rolling this out to Patreon supporters, but we're going to go. Um, I've been talking with, with a lot of the people, and right now we're just getting uh, to know the community, to getting some moderators, because we want the chats to be, you know. Moderated. Moderated. And then we're going to release this to everybody. Black, but uh, I see right now the notifications. Thanks for the support on Patreon. It does help um, with the show. We have Patreons always coming and going. That's cool. But this is something we want to open up to everybody. Um, okay, I'm going to hang this up, guys. It's a long. Good talking with you. It's good. Yeah, it's nice to hear from Dimitri in New York. And uh, I think it was Madison was in there. And uh, who else was in that chat group? Uh, uh, J- uh, JKO Adventures, Jason. Uh, Jason from Canada. He's, he watches your show. Oh, thanks, Jason. Yeah. Introverted Otaku. I introduced Otaku, recently signed up on the Patreon. By the way, the box is on the way. <laughs> TSS Killer is um, uh, Dimitri, UFO Bob. I'm like ruining your your uh, usernames, by the way. I'm telling everybody's real. Purple Bandit's in the house, also from New York. Purple Bandit was here just a couple weeks ago. I totally almost made her Mr. Shinkansen. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, we might do a meetup. Do you ever do meetups for your channel? I have not, no. No? Um, yeah. I have not. But that's not saying that I won't. But you I'm will. Just, I'm really focused on creating content right now. Yeah. Just keep it going up here. I've been getting these the nose hairs growing out longer. I got a really good nose hair trimmer, and I'll send you the link to it. Yeah, okay. You, you could use it in your ears as well. Really? Yeah. J- Japanese barbers shave your ears. <laughs> Did you shave? Did they shave your ear? Just the outside of it. They shaved my earlobe. He, sh- he put cream on it and sh- Oh yeah, sorry. Sorry. You always knew how, you, you know how to ruin a really good lunch, John. How do you deal with all the gray hairs? Oh, sorry. You just shave it. When did you start shaving your head? When I stopped looking as handsome as you. Nice. I don't know if that was... Kill him with kindness, people. I don't know Even if that was a smack in the face. I don't know if that what you just said was a smack in the face or a compliment, but I'll take it as Look a compliment. Whoa. That's a, it's sharp eyes, PBG. I don't know, but it's, that looks really cool. Check that out. Food truck. If that's not a food truck, I'm even more impressed because it's like walking around town with a shirt that color. That's, that's saying something. Yeah. All right, everybody. Just want to say thank you. Uh, for the support. It was a lot of fun. Discord server. Um, PBG's link's in the description. Go yeah, watch please. his channel. He Honey is doing some amazing things on his YouTube channel. Honey He's Gashimas. now burning up your, your... You went from like 5,000 subscribers to 11,000 in like a snap of the fingers. I'm I was, breaking the internet, man. You are breaking, the, breaking internet. the internet. It's really hard for new, new um, um, YouTubers. And I know that the, the lower channels, the, not lower, but the sub- channels with less subscribers having a hard time with live streaming. Um, I'm asking questions to see what we can do to help you out with that. Um, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Yeah. So we're here to help, but watch this channel and uh, see you in the next live stream. We've got some great ideas coming up. Tyler, thanks yeah. for the support. We, we're going to check out that craft beer, which he pointed was this way. So have a good day. Right across the street. Good night, wherever you are in the world.